Hello! Welcome! Today, I'm going to be baking some of my own versions of Sprinkles cupcakes. But, I'm not going to do it alone. I have somebody with me. So, this is Evan. He's my husband. And we're going to try to make gluten-free versions of some of Sprinkles' most famous cupcakes. This morning, I went and picked up some Sprinkles cupcakes. Oh. So when we finish our cupcakes, we can test them out against ours and see which one is better. The cupcakes that we are making are the black and white cupcake, which that's one of their most popular flavors besides the red velvet, and the limited edition s'mores flavored cupcake. They look delicious. I'm hoping ours will look kind of similar. I don't know we'll find how out. they're gonna look. Yeah, okay, I guess we can just get started. And we have our ingredients in front of us, so yeah, let me just pull this out of the way. We don't need our competition staring us in the face. We couldn't find an exact recipe online, so we kind of had to just like pull some different recipes and just kind of like make our own recipe and get some ideas from like videos of Candace, which that's a creator of Sprinkles Cupcakes. We've got our butter and our sugar creamed. I am demoing our dark chocolate cupcake. Okay. And then add these eggs. Really, really focus on the customer experience. They make sure that each cupcake is perfectly portioned. So we're gonna see how this turns out. I know this recipe is a little bit more complicated than a normal cupcake recipe, so that'll be a challenge within its own. Okay, we are going to first start with the dry ingredients. So we have all of them here. Eggs are not dry ingredients, but they're just here. Do you wanna get the flour? We are using the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free all-purpose baking flour. It's a one-to-one, I guess one cup to one cup like ratio or whatever. It's cup to cup flour. Yeah, cup to cup flour. So hopefully, I feel like this one was a good choice. Because we researched um, different recipes, I kind of just typed them up in a little Google Doc. I'm just hoping that I typed this out right. Um, we're gonna find that out real soon if this will be good. Okay, mix it up with a knife. Is that how you normally make sure I'm ready? All right. Okay, so in another bowl, we are doing two thirds cup of buttermilk and vanilla. Oh no, look at the way that that opens. It's like yep. those school milks. Oh. You have to, you have to push it out. You have to do one of these. You're doing it wrong. No, it's too late. You gotta go like this, but you didn't do that. You literally ripped it open with your paws. Two thirds cup. So uncultured with your, what is it called? And you bring lunch to school. It's called packed lunch. Packed lunch. I don't know, I couldn't think of that. Okay. Can't get the foil in there. Well, yeah. <laughs> no way, I thought you could. Yeah, now I can't put foil in the microwave. In the microwave. Ew. Don't let it melt. We're both dairy free, but because we're making the cupcakes gluten free, I didn't want to take away more from our cupcakes and make them dairy free. So I was afraid it was literally just gonna turn out to be a disaster. Oh, this smells like yogurt. Like moldy yogurt. No. It doesn't. Slowly okay, add in the flour mixture. We have these disposable cupcake pans because we don't have actual, we don't have actual cupcake pans, so. We don't have like a ice cream scooper, like a batter scooper, I don't know what it's called, but the thing that you're supposed to use to scoop batter out, so we're just gonna, I guess, use a spoon. Make sure none of those are, oh wait, oh, found it. 
That was like no sugar. Yeah, it was a cupcake. That's what my mom was saying because she had a, a chocolate marshmallow cupcake. She said it was like not super sugary. Maybe they're healthy. Yeah, they're really healthy. <gasps> what do we preheat the oven to? Ha! <laughs> 350. Whoopsies! Do you fill a cupcake pan three quarters? Probably. Their cupcakes are really big, so I'm assuming that they fill it up like a decent amount. Okay, so we're done filling our first batch for the black and white. We didn't preheat the oven yet, so we're just waiting on the oven to be ready. The oven is preheated, so we're gonna put these babies inside. I think, oh, I don't know how long they cook for. Oh, I'll have to check, but. 10 minutes. Is it 10? Eight to 10. Okay, let me put it for eight and then we'll check. It's on here, right? Time. Start time? Is it start time? Right? Okay. Set timer? Stupid. Okay, I'm dumb. There we go. All right, now we wait. While we wash some dishes and start the other batter. Okay, I'm gonna go eat some fries. Cupcakes are potentially almost done, so we're gonna check. Should I just like go in? Mm -hmm. Maybe you slide it out with the. Yeah. Oh, they look good. I think it might be done. Really? Oh. Not good. How much did you put in eight, though? Yeah. So it's eight to ten. Okay, so while that is still heating up because it was a little bit goopy, we're gonna start the s'mores cupcakes. So for this one, it has a graham cracker crust on the bottom, so we have some gluten free Grammy Grams brought to you by Ralph's. And we're gonna use this. You can explain what it is. It's a coffee grinder, grind your coffee beans. Yeah, we're supposed to put this in a food processor, but we're kind of lazy. We have one, Somewhere. but this is just easier at the moment. Seven crackers is what it says. Oh, we have a couple broken grams, but that's okay. Is it good for the gram? Uh, okay. I, I see what you did. No, no, <laughs> but that was actually not supposed to be a bad pun. It's not bad, actually. I have to put less in at a time. Okay. Okay, what else do you need with it? What is it, two and a half? Teaspoons, yeah. Tablespoons? Teaspoons? Those yeah. are teaspoons? Tablespoons? Tablespoon is three of those. Mm -hmm. I would just use one slice. Mm -hmm. Melt it. Okay. Do you know like what a whole graham cracker looks like? It's like that big? Mm-hmm. So I think the ones that we were using were even smaller. We'll find out. Okay, scoop. <laughs> so we just mix this in so yeah, make it a yeah, crumble. Yeah. Let's see how crumbly she looks. I think they lied about Look at how like... I mean, it just makes it crumbly like it is. Oh no! The cupcake's deflated. Semi-normal. Spoon in. I'll go hold pee. it in. No, go pee. Brought to you by my next UTI. Go pee. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> You're making it work. I would like mm -hmm. to finish this. <laughs> is this a recording? Mm -hmm. No. Wait. <laughs> go pee. Remember. You didn't. <laughs> Just go pee. No. <laughs> it's going to take us 10 minutes to do this, and I can hold 10 minutes. Okay, so now we're basically gonna do the same exact thing that we did before, but this is just the batter for the s'mores cupcakes. So we have the graham cracker bottom so far, so now we're just gonna make the actual batter for it, so. We're recooking the other cupcakes, just a few of them. They're still really mushy for some weird reason. I have no idea why. When I took them out, it seemed fine, but they started to deflate. Oh. Okay, so this batter is the exact same batter as the last time, so I won't put you through the same thing twice. Can we take out the cupcakes? They look better. This one in particular looks pretty nice. So. <laughs> okay! Yes. I wonder how much they actually fill it. I'm like curious. So these are supposed to bake for 18 to 20 minutes. That's where we screwed up because I thought that last one, one said 8 to 10, I swear. Yeah. It could have been me um, accidentally mistyping it, but 18 to 20 minutes. While those are cooking, bacon, baking, we're gonna make the ganache filling for the s'mores cupcake and the frosting for that one and for this 
black and white. We are making the ganache. It's basically heavy cream and chocolate. That's all it is. We got our little saucepan. Don't stir vigorously, apparently. Is that how much do you need? So we got three variations of what it means to have chopped chocolate chips. We have very fine, not chopped at all, and kind of chopped. Still not really chopped. We're gonna try boiling the whipping cream slash heavy cream again because I don't know what was happening, but it basically turned into foam. So that was definitely not what was supposed to happen. We have one more shot because there's two cups in this. Oh, I forgot we were baking cupcakes. Those look actually amazing. Wait, those look really good. Just to a boil. Take it off. Interesting. Very liquidy. The ganache is done. I guess we'll just make the icing. To smell light colored stainless steel saucepan, kill me and kick me in the. Never mind. I hate. Okay, so we're gonna make the marshmallow frosting. We have two frostings to make. We have to make this in a saucepan. <laughs> so this frosting recipe was a little too hard for us amateurs and it flopped. So let's skip over to the one that actually works. I'm just sad. All right, guys, we're back at it again. We messed up. We're gonna try again. The first s'more frosting didn't work. Look at that. <laughs> so we researched, and we're going to try a different s'more frosting. It's basically gonna be the same thing. You just cook it differently. So let's hope this one works. Okay. Dude, egg whites. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. One cup of sugar. It just says until it's like hot. A sharp knife cut a circle into the center of the cupcake to create a hole we shouldn't go super deep because we don't want the ganache spilling out on the bottom of the cupcake okay, we're gonna test one out we'll do this one because he's a little rough so the ganache has set that's so a world well. of a difference i love that like this doesn't even taste that sugary it tastes like marshmallows but without like 200 pounds of sugar yeah we started this about five and a half hours ago. We're doing well, I think. Making the frosting. Stop. It does not take two Three cups. cups. Let's roll. This is the non-healthy part. One cup. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Five teaspoons of milk. Vanilla. Can I stab? Huh? Can I stab with that? Okay, here we are. We finally finished making our cupcakes. I think that they turned out pretty well. I'm excited to try one. They definitely are a little bit smaller than the Sprinkles cupcakes, and the way that the Sprinkles frost their cupcakes just, it looks a lot nicer and more put together. But ours looks a little bit homey and cozy and homemade. In this little section, we have two of the black and white cupcakes and two of the s'mores cupcakes. All the ingredients are relatively the same. We tried our best to follow the- Sprinkles official recipes. Only. Our version of the Sprinkles official recipes. These are just extra Sprinkles cupcakes. Just for so, comparison. Yeah, just for reference. Okay, I have brought my parents out here to help us test the Sprinkles version of the cupcakes versus ours. I wanted an unbiased opinion, and also they eat gluten, so they're okay with eating the actual cupcake from Sprinkles. So, without further ado, each of you can pick a cupcake. So you get your own s'mores and your own black and white. So do we know so which So you ones? pick this one. I mean, you can probably guess which ones are Sprinkles and which ones aren't. This one's Sprinkles, yeah. and this one is yours, right? Right. Obviously, you don't have to eat the whole thing. It's on the bottom. That's Grand a graham cracker. cracker. Wow. But this one, that's not ours, remember. No. Okay. Is it a graham cracker in yours? Yes, and there's also a ganache filling. Look at that graham cracker crust in the bottom, just like this one. Both yeah. of them have a um, graham cracker crust, a dark chocolate cake with a ganache center, <laughs> and a lightly toasted marshmallow topping. Wow, okay. 
Oh, that's great. Well, let's try this. Yeah, try the real version first. Okay, this is gonna be a big bite. Yeah, gotta get everything together. I don't get a lot of chocolate in there, but I'm sure the ganache will make up for it. Graham cracker, it makes it a little salty. You're right, it salty. does have salt in it. Mm -hmm. Try the graham cracker. It's kind of salty. Oh, uh -oh. Yeah. sorry. I mean, Sprinkles uh, is still good. <laughs> You want to try theirs? I'm All really right. afraid because we have not <laughs> tried everything together. I've tried everything separate. I'm just gonna take, take a bite. bite. Definitely like the chocolate better. Mm-hmm. This know. tastes more chocolatey to me. Do you think it's like too sweet? Not so much. That's gluten-free graham cracker. Yeah. yeah. I like it better. It's better than having it really, really salty. salty. That's good. The cupcake's still warm. Honestly, not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like the gluten-free better. Really? Mm-hmm. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> now we're testing the black and white. What the is coffee. the uh, icing? That's like their signature yeah. vanilla icing. So we'll try theirs first. It it's a little grainy. Oh, <laughs> there's hope for us. It's like very <laughs> traditional uh, white icing chocolate cake. The base is not really sweet. I mean, it's okay. Like It's, it's a okay. moist cupcake with a really sugary sweet topping on it. Well, we're gonna try a bite of this one. I can tell it's already denser. Oh, that might have to be the undercooked cupcakes. That could be that. That we made. I'm getting a little bit more vanilla flavor, which I like in the icing. Okay, I'll take it. Whereas the other one is more sweet. Be honest. Cheese. Like if you look at the texture of this, it's like more airy than yours is. Like oh, you can I see, see the that. difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a big fan, fan of the denseness of the cake. Okay. The taste is almost exactly the same. It's probably like hard to eat. I think we on this up. one. And the frosting. And the icing on your Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Same as me. So, half and half. No okay, I'll take it. So, we recreated sprinkles. Yeah. yeah. But gluten free version. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. You want to say hi? No chocolate for you because that's bad. Yeah, Penny, you want to dive in? No. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks for being our taste testers. You're welcome. Okay, so I guess our cupcakes were slightly better than sprinkles. It's half and half. I don't know, whenever I bake something, it doesn't really turn out the way that it should. So I know we had like a couple little ups and downs. Like I'm not saying we did this perfectly, but I'm just surprised that it turned out pretty well. So I guess that's the end of the video. If you want to see us do any more baking videos, let me know. Um, I had a lot of fun baking with you. Aww. That's it. See you next week. Bye.